Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about how the best audio plugins in the business just got better. And stick around at the end, I'll tell you how you can enter our contest where we're going to give away a full Era 4 standard bundle from AccuSonus. All right, I have done a previous tutorial on AccuSonus noise remover and reverb remover, but this is the newest version, Era 4, and it's the whole standard bundle. So what's so special about this? Well, it's incredibly effective technology and ridiculously easy. It's one single button. So if you're a new user, one knob to turn and it's working. If you're a professional, it's about speed. Instead of tweaking a whole bunch of tedious settings, again, it's one effect, one knob that you can turn up. After you install Era 4, you need to tell each application that you're using it. Let's go into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to do that. In the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, Go to Preferences, Audio, and Audio Plugin Manager. These are the uh, two directories that I set up already. You can scan for plugins. So this will usually find all of the plugins. And you can see there's the Era 4 plugins there. On the Mac, it's a different location. This is the place where they are on the Mac. You only have to do that once. Now that the applications know where they are, then you'll be able to use them. So let's start with a noise remover. I use this exact same Era 4 noise remover on my show because I have a very loud fan and I have a projector on the floor behind me. That's not green screen, that's projected on the back. So let's go listen to our first example here. So this is with noise. If you like this week's episode, Send us a message on our Facebook page. Every week, I will personally pick the best comments and read them out on the show. So I'll go into my effects. I'll show you two ways to do this. This is in the effects uh, panel. And I'll just type in Era 4, and there are my Era 4 effects. Here's the noise remover. So with that selected, I can just double click on this and go to the effects controls. And if you want to see more of the control, click the edit button and it will open up the interface. Unfortunately, Premiere Pro has a little bit of a problem with a 4K screen, so you have to open these plugins up. This is not AccuSonus uh, problem, this is just Premiere Pro. All right, so we've applied that. Now let's listen to this with the noise reduction applied. If you like this week's episode, Send us a message on our Facebook page. Every week, I will personally pick the best comments and read them out on the show. Now I'll turn it off. If you like this week's episode, send us a message on our Facebook page. On. Every week, I will personally pick the best comments. And I can turn it up if I want. So this is a much more extreme example. If you like this week's episode, send us a message on our Facebook page. Off. Every week, I will personally pick the best comments and read them out on the show. Now, I think that does an incredible job of uh, just out of the box choosing to fix the, the noise. But there are some other choices that you have down at the bottom. The focus section here will help you apply the noise removal to a specific frequency. By default, it's all frequencies or high, low, low and high or mid. And you, there's also an A, B button where you could try different things. So I could try it on all frequencies with that setting. And then I could go to B, try it just on mid and turn it up. And now I can flip between these. If you like this week's episode, send us a message on our Facebook page. Every week, I will personally pick the best comments and read them out on the show. So you can test between those two different settings. There's also a new button here, which is an... Uh, use this on buzzing sounds. So a lot of these examples have that hiss, some kind of a hissing background sound, but sometimes it's an, a buzz. If you click on that button, it's going to remove the buzzy noise. So that's the very first one, that's noise remover. I wanna show you another example with a ton of noise on it. Uh, when I first started a ride, I was uh, really taken with her ability. Let me apply that. We'll open that up. 
And this is a very high noise, so I'm gonna focus on the high noise. Ability. She has, a, uh, when I first arrived, I was uh, really taken with her ability. She has, a, uh, when I first arrived, I was uh, really taken with her ability. She has, a, uh, when Off. I first arrived, I was uh, really taken with her ability. She has, a, uh, so you heard, even with extreme examples like this, the Era 4 noise remover does a fantastic job. Okay, let's try the next one which is a reverb remover. I'll select that and go to reverb remover. You could drag and drop if you want. I like to double click. I'll open that up. And let's play this. Eventually, no system could keep pace with the decimal or Arabic number system. Let me turn it up. Which has 10 numerals. The digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, tr turn it seven, off. eight, nine, and a decimal point. Eventually, no system could keep pace with the decimal or I'll Arabic turn it on. system, which has ten numerals. The digits zero, one, two. You'll also notice that there's an auto button here that auto automatically turns up the volume. It's called make up gain. So you make up extra volume because when you're using the reverb remover knob and you turn it, as you're turning it, you, you're also decreasing the overall volume. So when you connect that with the output, turn the knob, the output connects. You can turn that off if you want. There's also an AB and you can focus down here at the bottom. So the reverb remover, I think Three, does a great job. Four, five, six, seven, Eight. Nine. Okay, so let's move on. This is voice leveler. I'll select that and go to the voice leveler. Open this up. I'll explain what this does first and then we'll have a listen. Sometimes when you've recorded your audio, the level changes quite a bit, either from the, the person speaking or the environment, or sometimes they're moving away from the microphone. This is especially true if someone is at a podium with a directional microphone and they're doing a presentation and constantly turning away. The, the voice leveler will listen to the level and it will try to level up that out so it's more even. So I'll turn it off and let's listen. Fit for yes or fit for no? Thou, whatever light may shine, no man on your face shall see. Okay, now let's turn it on, and I'm going to turn it up quite a bit. Fit for yes or fit for no? Thou, whatever light may shine, no man on your face shall see. Any grief for change on mine. You'll also notice down at the bottom of the voice leveler, there's a waveform. And there's an output color and an input color. The output is the changes that are being made. So you can see here's a quieter spot and there's lots of yellow. It's leveling the audio out by increasing the, the dynamic range of that particular part because it's quiet. The next part here that's dark is not as, as loud or not as quiet. So it's a minimal effect between the two. You can choose whether it's a normal or a tight setting. So it's going to make the changes and, and, and change that into a, a quicker uh, example. So the change is just normal, the change is fast. If you're also getting rid of emphasis or breath control, you can turn those on and the AB control here. So voice leveler, fantastic for dynamically uh, evening out those evening out your audio levels. This is a de-esser. Let's apply that. I'll turn it off first and we'll listen to it without. Thanks for listening. And remember to always eat your greens. Cheers. All right, I'll turn it on. For this, I'm gonna turn it up quite a bit. And there's an intense button here that I'm going to engage. Thanks for listening. And remember to always eat your greens. Cheers. I'll turn it off. Thanks for listening. And remember to always eat your greens. So a de-esser removes what's known as sibilance. That's the annoying whiskey kind of tss 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 at, the, at the top of someone's speech. And it could be the way that they speak. It could also be the way things were recorded. 
What I love here is this difference button. If I turn that on, you'll now hear what's being removed. So this is not the effect that you want, but this helps you understand what actually is being removed. And you hear it's those little S's. There's an A, B on this one, the intense button that I showed you. You can also set whether this is looking at a narrow frequency, how much of the frequency it's looking at for the S's. Instead of trying to set a, 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 a an exact frequency level, if you want it tighter or if you want it more broad because that, that sibilance can occur in slightly different places. Uh, and this just helps you focus on that. So that's the de -esser. Let's get to the plosive remover. I'll turn it off and we'll listen. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. Oh boy, you know these people. They're popping their P's and B's, any kind of hard consonant that's that's just making that explosive, plosive sound against the microphone. So let's turn it on. And I'm going to turn this on to extreme and really turn it up. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. I'll turn it off. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. On and let's please remember. This is the difference. So just like the de -esser, here the plosive, we can, we can just listen to the difference of what's being removed. And the last one is the D clipper. Clipping occurs when you've accidentally recorded something too loud and it peaks out and you, you'll hear that very harsh distortion. If you can't go back and re-record it, a lot of times you're left with this recording that just sounds horrible. And the D-clipper will try to repair that, that clipped uh, level. So let's play it without. Slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. Oh, that's loud. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the... Okay, I'll turn it on. And there are two different types. Type one is normal, type two. Um, the manual says this is for tricky uh, situations. I'm also going to turn on high quality. Well, I'll, I'll try standard first. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. Turn it off. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slow. Okay, I'll turn it on and... Um, we don't really hear much of a difference with Only two. Press it out to the edge of the pan. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slow. But we might hear with high quality and you'll get a little warning here that this requires quite a bit of, of CPU power because it has to calculate at a higher quality level, which means more data is going through. I'm also going to turn down the main volume a little bit. And now Only let's listen. press it out to the edge of the pan. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. Turn it off. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. On. Please remember to pat the dough out starting in the center and slowly press it out to the edge of the pan. I've got a fast enough computer that it handled that high CPU and repaired a little bit of that clipping. Now, one other thing, I want to show you that's important is right now I've been dragging one effect on one clip. If you have a whole track that needs to be fixed, like this example I'm going to show you, I've got noise and reverb and de and uh, something else in here. So instead of applying all of those to the clip, if you apply them to the track mixer track, then you only apply one effect. So this is the audio track mixer in the window menu, audio track mixer. And if you twirl this little button down here, you can add up to 16 effects. And I've got the noise remover, reverb remover, uh, the voice leveler, and the de are all working together. 
and you can change the order of these. So I just happen to choose noise first because the first thing I wanna do is remove the noise. Some of the other plugins actually will make things louder. So if you don't get rid of the noise first, then you're gonna make the noise louder. So it's always a good idea. Stick a noise reduction first. So I've got two tracks here, one with it applied and one without. So let's listen to it without. All right. I'm or Let's listen to it with first. I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way- I'll show you the original. Audio and they want to fix it. And the problem is caused by the camera being 10 feet away and we're in a reflective surface. So this is- So you have to set your expectations. It's not perfect but it's way better than the noisy room. Plus I've got this turned up quite a bit. So if I wanted to, I could open up something like the reverb remover and just in reduce kitchen, that. You've got tile floor, wood cabinets, and a hard countertop, which is making all of the um, audio echo all over the place. And it actually- And this is a lot easier to uh, on the computer to, to process because instead of having multiple effects on multiple clips, I just have one in the audio track or one or two or, or however many I need. It's just so much better. So this is Era 4 standard bundle. And what you get in this bundle is the noise remover, reverb remover, voice leveler, plosive remover, de-esser and de-clipper. And it is just an amazing package. So you wanna know how you enter the contest? go to videoreveal.com slash giveaway. There's a link in the description to take you there. This is my website and I am going to take your email address and we're going to um, draw from the names and emails and then I'm gonna delete the names and emails. I'm not asking you to tweet. I'm not asking you to like. I'm not asking you to do all the typical things that a YouTube channel person would do in a contest. All I wanna do is find a name and give away the software. This is about you, not about me, and not about Video Reveal. I was contacted by the awesome folks at AccuSonus. They said, hey, Colin, we wanna give away a standard bundle. How do we do that? So I thought, let's get the easiest way, the safest way, so your email is not shared anyway. So go to videoreveal.com slash giveaway, enter only once, I'll have it up for a week. All of the, the information will be on that page of when the contest closes. And once it closes, I will generate a random number, and pick who, whatever uh, uh, name that is in the list. If it's number 200, then that's the person that wins. And then I'll delete all the emails and I'll send you a, uh, uh, a happy message. And then I'll forward your email address to AccuSonus and they'll send you a download link for you to download your free copy of the Era 4 Standard Bundle. All right. Are you new to Video Revealed and uh, you're feeling lucky? That's great. Hey, how about taking a moment and, and subscribing? You wanna support us some more? You can do that through PayPal. We love our PayPal supporters. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get your audio sounding the best it can with the help of the wonderful folks at AccuSonus.